Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. Colonel Dish with D here to report on her party weekend. Or Sergeant Dish with D. I don't know. I don't No. I am the head of the Dish with D revolt against the holiday eating. Yes, I don't know what to call myself. Colonel Sergeant Corporal. You know. Oh. It's cold here in the Northeast. It's 36 degrees. And they're expecting rain. And snow. I'm not really quite sure. I need to put the heat on because I'm freezing. So how did my weekend go? Well, did it go as planned? For the most part, yes. Because I planned on having food. Did I have as much as um, I would have at being off plan? Like the old Denise will call her. The old dish with D. The pan with D. No, the pot. Um, no, I'm a dish. Um, Oh, I would have eaten. You know, the last time I went to my friend's house on the Saturday party, I got sick. I got sick last year. And I was on plan. I thought I was on plan. But now that was the D who just ate, you know, didn't care because that's ah, a party. I'm going to eat my face off. I don't care. Yeah. Well, that didn't work out so well last year. I think it was a combination of food and beverages. You know, I guess it's sometimes when you eat those sweet wine punches got to me I think last year I was sick for two days actually a day and a half I missed my shopping trip with my friends which is never a good thing <sighs> so yeah this year I brought my own drink bought my own nice cup of unsweetened tea and I had water filled my cup up with with water and that's all I drank and I tell you it made the whole difference I didn't leave there bloated I didn't leave there feeling sick I mean, I made, I made the best choices. I mean, I, I always, you know, these are two parties I went to in two days. Well, three parties, but the one was a lunch, so the only counts as a party. Well, I guess it does, because I had dessert. I had dessert at all three parties. Now, you can sit there and say, Denise, did you really need to have dessert? Yes, I did. Because I didn't have as much as I would have normally had. I had a, th when I tell you the microscopically thin piece of carrot cake I had yes, last night, it was so good. It was so good. I, I don't regret that. If that's if the scale this week shows a gain, uh, it is what it is, you know, because your body isn't used to having dessert. So, yeah, I'm probably going to get a gain this week. I had a gain already last week, so point two. If I have a gain this week, I have a gain this week. I, I'm going to be good from our next party is Saturday. So I'll be weighed again on Saturday morning. So I have five good days to be on plan. I am going to rock those five days. <clears throat> but yes, I had dessert Friday. Now, mind you, I didn't finish any of my desserts. Friday, we had ice cream in our luncheon, and I didn't know there was going to be ice cream. But I thought, it's vanilla ice cream, you know? I mean, yeah, it wasn't even that good. So I only had about four spoonfuls. It was a nice little, I think it was a nice little dish. So I had at least like six more to seven more spoonfuls in there. I had about four, and there were teaspoons. Uh, and I'm eating it going, there's no sauce on it. There was no cookie with it. There was no, like, nuts. It was like a, a thing of ice cream. And I was like, this, like, good that it doesn't have extra stuff, but it didn't entice me to have any more. So I had a couple, and I just pushed it aside. So I was proud of that. Um, old D would have finished that and licked this plate clean. But no, and I had, I only had half my salmon. It was two, like, little nice little strips. It came with roasted potatoes. So I ate one of the salmon. Well, we had, let me rewind. We had a caprese, little mini caprese salad, which was this nice slice of tomato with a slice of mozzarella and a little drizzle of balsamic. I ate that. A little Caesar salad. I ate that. And... So when I, and actually when I finished the first piece of salmon and I finished all but one of the wedges of potatoes, I thought I could eat the rest of it. I could, and it's salmon, it's zero points, but you know what? I felt satisfied. Like I felt if I'd eaten the rest of that, I would have felt uncomfortable. Not even uncomfortable, I just would have had more than I wanted. <clears throat> so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take it home. So I took it home and I was proud of myself. Now it's funny because I, that was, we ate it probably, 2 o'clock was our reservation. We got there, um, I had to say I ate by 3. By the time the entree came out, it was probably like 3 o'clock. And I was fighting with QVC 
through the whole appetizer because I was trying to order these wireless earbuds. They were having a special, they were kind of cool. They were called frogs. They were like wireless earbuds in a charging case. Like they charge in the case, like the AirPods. But you got two sets for $99. So yeah, I was trying to get on there and they wouldn't ship it to my house. They kept saying, will not ship to your address, which I don't know why. So call customer service. Well, you know, trying to get to a live person is, you know, killing me here. So I, and I couldn't get a signal in the room, plus it was too loud. So I'm out in this little hallway trying to finally get somebody. And so it took me like, they were laughing because they're like, they thought that something bad was happening. No, I'm not, no, nothing bad is happening. I'm funny with QVC. So all good. They're being shipped. It was, and I want, and it's funny, they were selling out as I was trying to order. And I wanted the, um, each set came with a black. And I figured my husband had the black. And the, the other one was like, they had white, pink, navy. Um, there was like, like a leopard, like a print. So I wanted the leopard print ones. Well, the other one, the white ones was my, or the pink ones, the other, my first choice sold out. And I was like really pissed. So I went with the other ones. Then I'm thinking, if I'm stuck with the navy and black, I'm going to be really bad. So I said to the guy, listen, if you can't give me the cheetah print ones, I'm like literally pissed off. But I got the cheetah print ones, so I was all happy. And it'll work out. Which is way off topic. So yeah, so I was really proud. And then it was way in on Saturday morning, so I knew I wasn't going to be hungry till like 8. Because it's 3 o'clock. So yeah, come 8.30, I was hungry. And I'm like, no, I'm not eating now. It's way in tomorrow. I mean, I'm not, I don't like to eat 8 o'clock anyway because being a reflux sufferer, it's just was never good for me. But I mean, granted, I've been reflux free for quite a while now. And I could eat and go to bed, but I thought, you know what? I plus I had to go pick up my CPAP machine. So I had to be retested. Um, I had to pick it up Friday night and they only pick it up during their work hours, which since it's a sleep center, it, they go in at eight o'clock. So I had 8.45 to pick up my at home test because my insurance only paid for that home, which was fine because I don't like to sleep anywhere. I probably wouldn't have slept anyway. But they were retesting my um, sleep apnea because I, you know, lo losing all this weight, my machine is showing, you know, so much improvement that they just want to retest me. So fingers crossed that, that I do really well on this test and, um, I mean, it is what it is. I, in my mind, I knew I would always have to be on this machine. So if he tells me to stay on it, it's really no big hardship. I love my machine and I adapt it very well. I know some people have a hard time adjusting, but I, you know, I just took to it like a fish to water. I really did. I was, I think I was just desperate for sleep and now I'm just so used to it. It doesn't really bother me, but it'd be nice to sleep on my stomach again. I won't lie. So we'll see. Uh, let's see. I did that Saturday night. I was going to do it Friday night, but this is the a bad night all around. I thought I'll just do it Saturday night. And then Saturday's party, I did really well. Again, Caesar salad. Caesar salad was the theme of my weekend. Um, I had Caesar salad on uh, Saturday. I started with the salad. She had these breaded chicken tenders. I don't know. They were, I don't know. If they were, I don't think they were fried. They didn't taste really greasy. But I threw a chicken tender on that. I had a meatball. I avoided the pasta. I actually even avoided the bread. Now, you know me, this thing usually always has the bread. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to avoid the bread. And it took the little stuffed pretzel lock. <laughs> it was stuffed with cheesesteak. It was a little Philly cheesesteak bomb in a pretzel. Yeah, I had two. I did. I confess, I had two cheesesteak bombs. They were good. So that's... And I did have a little piece of kibasi. So again, I when I was finished with my plate, I didn't go back. I did, though I did go back for the cheesesteak bomb, the second one. But I have to say, I was really sad. Like, I didn't feel stuffed. I didn't feel full. I could have, that's hence why I went for the second cheesesteak ball. Um, I avoided the punch. I would, oh crud, there's a policeman. He's gonna stay here. Paramedics. So yeah, I was very proud of myself for the choices. And I did have a couple of her cookies because she makes really good biscotti. And yeah, I indulged in a biscotti. And I knew I had planned on it. And mind you, Saturday was good because I had went in there with 17 dailies and 38 weeklies. So yeah, I was well within my points to have that. And I don't think I even finished the cookie. I didn't give it to my husband. I did taste two of her cookies. They were really good. So yeah, I... I and you know what? Here's the, the bottom line. I go to that party once a year. 
If she invited me for dinner once a week, I wouldn't have had it. But yeah, once a year, girlfriend's having her biscotti. And you know what? And people will be like, and I thought to myself, am I gonna, should I have this biscotti? You know what, Denise? Yeah, you should have this biscotti. It's, a, you know what? In life, you're gonna have biscotti. In life, you can throw in biscotti. And sometimes you eat it and sometimes you don't. But yeah, I did. And I enjoyed every bite of it and it was delicious. And last night we went to my friend Mary Ann's party and she usually has the same standard fare. So I knew I went in there with 15 points and I had, uh, she had these little, she always has these little croissant sandwiches. So I had one of those. I had a meatball and her husband makes homemade kibasi and sauerkraut. So I had, and it's cut into little like slices. So I had two slices of those with a nice, you know, peeping amount of kraut. And I did have a little bit of sausage and peppers, not that much to worry about. And a salad. Get Caesar salad. This time you put your own dressing on, so it was good. So I just put a little dressing on. So <clears throat> the carrot cake and a couple, um, and they also had local to Philadelphia is a place called, they make the best, the best pound cake in the whole entire United States of America. And I do not lie. They, and it sells, they sell it in loaves. You can have, probably even have it shipped to you. It's called Stocks, S-T-O-C-K, apostrophe S, Stocks Pound Cakes. And, or Stocks Bakery. And they did my wedding cake when I got married. Because, again, I'm from Philly. And everybody goes to Stocks. It's just, yeah, it, it's what dreams are made of. It truly is. And they sell loaves, like big, like bread loaves of cake. And they come with vanilla or chocolate icing. Or you can get it without icing. And they have one with a chocolate swirl in the middle, which I do not recommend because the chocolate swirl, for some reason, is horrible. And I don't know why. We've always, we always say that, like, the people who don't usually normally have stocks go for the swirl because it sounds interesting. Yeah. Something about the cocoa in there just dis disrupts the balance of that cake. So, yeah, I do not recommend the swirl. But yeah, um, I like the vanilla icing, but she had the chocolate. Girl, I had a piece. My She had them cut in sticks. Like you can cut a slice and then she cut the slices in threes, which was great. So Steve got one and we split it. Yeah, it's the bomb. It's so good. I Like I said, if you ever want to order a pound cake online, come to Stocks Bakery. <sighs> yeah, it is all that in a bag of chips. I will say that. In fact, we're trying to do a fundraiser with them, with my women's group, and they they sell out. They only do so many fundraisers a year, and we and we call the first thing in the morning of the day of the opening of the, of the fundraiser, and we can never get in. So, I'm gonna try again this year because I'm determined to get into that bakery. I'm just determined to get that fundraiser. It's to, it, it, I it will sell out because everybody locally to Philadelphia knows about Stocks Pound Cakes. Yeah, they are. But yeah, so I had some of that, some of her cookies. They were really good. So, and I did have a piece of the carrot cake. Like I said, it was a bakery carrot cake. I knew it just looked moist and it was all that. Cream cheese icing. Um, so goes, you want the end? I'm like, no, because I don't want all that icing. I want this. So and I split it with, you know, I ate all of it. She gave me a really, I said to her, Pat was cut. I said, count me a really, you know, a thin slice. And it really was. I gave it, um, I went on the, the app for a piece of carrot cake was 24 points, I think. I gave it nine, because it was like a third of a regular piece, so I gave it nine. So I went into my weeklies and it was fine. I just have to build them up. So today's the first day, I, you heard it here, this is gonna bank four points a day. Yeah, she's gonna be starving all week, but it's gonna be worth it. So yeah, I have a, a women's group dinner tonight, um, but at this diner, I know I'll get something food friendly, so I'm not even worried about that. So. I hope you enjoyed my weekend and that was was my plan like i said i i thought it was a successful weekend the scale doesn't always reflect how good we think our weekends are and compared to how i used to eat it's incredible how well i did if you compared the old denise to the denise of today yeah there's no comparison i would i would have i, I would have eaten way more at janine's i would have you know i was eating strawberries she always has strawberries and whipped cream i was eating the strawberries and normally I would have dipped them in the chocolate, which I didn't. So I, I felt it was a win. Could I have eaten less? Sure I could have. But you know what? I ate less for me and that's a win in my book. So you have to do what's right for you guys and what makes you feel good. Like I said, I, I'm very proud of what, how I handled it. I'm very proud of what I ate and what I didn't eat. You know, some people you would have said, oh, I wouldn't have had that carrot cake. And that's good for you. But you know what? 
I wanted it, I had it, and I enjoyed it. Enough said, period on the end of that sentence. Yep, like I said, you do what's good for you, and if it makes you feel bad, then don't eat it. But you see, I, 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 I don't guilt, I, I, I've given up guilt because life is short, and yeah, you gotta have carrot cake once in a while. And will it show on the scale? It could. It is what it is, and that's all it is. So thank you for joining me today. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you know anybody that needs Colonel D, you know where to find me. All right, thank you, have a great day.